Hey guys, Steven Anelis here, and I'm bringing you guys the Sunday Mailbox episode 2. And the reason I'm bringing you guys this Sunday Mailbox on Monday is because yesterday, Sunday, I, I had uploaded the video. And I it actually it had an error while rendering, so I had to render it again and re-upload it again. But then YouTube gave me an error every single time I tried to upload it. So hopefully uh, this thing actually uploads right now on Monday. So sorry about that. And this actually made me think about you guys. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you guys want to, like, uh, I don't know. In case I have problems, I'll just tweet it out and, and stuff like that so you guys know why I haven't uploaded and shit like that before. Actually, like every single time this happens, I won't have to make a intro video before actually putting out the video. So, yeah, guys, hope you enjoy. Bye. Hey, guys, Tim and Alice here bringing you guys another video. So today I have for you guys another episode of my Sunday Mailbox series that I've just started last week. So the whole point of this series is you guys asking me questions, whether it's something about you or something about me or a scenario. You give me a scenario where I'll give you guys my reactions to the scenario and stuff like that. So let's get on with the second episode. So I, I think it went well. The other one, the first episode went well. So I'm going to keep this series going you know, as long as I can. So let's get on with the video. You know. So the first question is, which one you like better, burrito or taco? Since... Uh, I prefer a burrito because a taco doesn't fill me as much as a burrito will. If I'm really hungry, really hungry, I'll go for the burrito instead of the taco. And preferably, preferably, I like the taste of a burrito better than a taco. So, yeah, I prefer the burrito. Okay, so the next question is, who convinced you to make YouTube videos or did you convince yourself? BTW, great video. Thanks, man. Uh, so who convinced me or what convinced me or did I convince myself? That is the answer to your question, my man. I convinced myself to do YouTube videos. I had been thinking about doing YouTube videos for since I was 16. I'm right now I'm 18 for those of you that didn't see the previous video, but yeah. I'm 18 and I've been thinking of doing YouTube for since 16, but I didn't have the money for the the equipment. I still don't have the money for the equipment as you guys can see my video quality isn't that great. But at least now I know what I'm doing. I didn't know what the how to do back then. So yeah, I convinced myself to do these videos and the reason why I decided to do YouTube videos is because I recently just graduated out of high school and I don't have a job. I, well, I'm self-employed, but uh, I have a bunch of time in my hands. So I was pretty bored and I, all I did was play video games and stuff like that. And since I had that, that in mind already, like since 16, I was like, now I have the time. Now I, I can manage to find a way to record my gameplay and find a way to record my commentary so i decided to start doing youtube videos after i graduated because i had spare time in my hands so that's practically what convinced me and i convinced myself well that's practically what made me start this whole youtube thing so yeah okay so and the next question is nice vi nice vids who's your favorite youtube commentator and i got this question asked twice here's the other question who is your favorite youtube commentator and what would you do if you were taken hostage with like 10 other people example bank Okay, so I'm going to answer the first uh, the first question, which is, who's your favorite commentator? I'll give you guys my three favorite commentators. For those of you that don't know who these guys are, make sure to go check them out. Anyway, so from top, from first place is Woody's Gamer Tech. I really enjoy his videos. Like, the first video I ever saw from him was Mayo Monday, which is kind of like... Uh, it's kind of like the same thing what I'm doing here, but he actually just focuses on you guys' um, on you guys's problems since rather than just asking me whatever question you guys want to ask you know so uh he's my favorite favorite youtuber uh second goes onslaught for those of you, you guys do not know him make sure to go check him out his channel is it's pretty solid but it's not as big as any of those big youtubers that have like 250 subscribers it's not like team art or anything or like woody but he deserves more views than he gets so make sure to go check him out if you guys don't know him uh probably link all of these three people's uh, channels also another person that i like is team art i really like his tips and tricks and all of this stuff you know that he shows us i though the series i enjoy from him the most is the interactive modern warfare 3 videos you know i really enjoy those videos i really like having to actually interact with the video you know having to choose where which tactic goes with what and everything you know and for those of you guys who don't know who team art is make sure to go check him out i'm pretty sure you guys do know him but anyways i'll link three of these people's channels so you guys to go make make sure to go check them out so anyways uh i'll get back to the second question after this hey man great video question okay so this one and my previous episode of this series somebody asked me where was i from and i'm from mexico so this is where this question might have popped up so here it is question if you have it, if you had a choice to live in mexico again would you 
The answer to that is no, I would not like to go back and live in Mexico. I only lived there for two years, I think. I uh, My parents brought me to the United States when I was about two or three years old. So um, I've, I lived my life, uh, like all of my life here. I've been grown here and everything. I wouldn't know how things are going or like go around over there, you know. So I'm pretty much racing in... Um, Raised in California. I wasn't raised in Mexico, so I'm not sure if I would like Mexico. First off. Second off, my dad just told me, like, he was speaking to me the other day. And he told me that 20 years ago when he came to the United States, he came when he was 16, my dad. And he says that this old guy was telling him and my uncles that um, forget about Mexico. Forget about your, 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 your country. Once you get to the United States, there is no going back. Why? Because things are way different from here and Mexico. Uh, in Mexico, you, the life is different than right here. So once you get here, you'll get used to here. If you try to go back and you say, nah, nah, I'm going back and I'm never coming back to this country. That is a lie. And that is true because, uh, over the years I've seen a lot of my relatives relatives go back to mexico with the idea in mind that they're never coming back to this country and then after a year they end up coming back and stuff you know so i will go visit but not go live over there my life has been built and made in in the united states so that's the answer to that okay so um let me see how much time am i running uh okay so next question is would you want to hear justin bieber or rebecca black singing as your alarm clock or party um hmm. okay so justin bieber and rebecca black are by far the most horrible singers right now uh for those of you who are actual fans of either of those well you guys just need to go back and check whatever your music is going on you know whatever's going on in your head so hmm i think i have rebecca black as my clock and Justin Bieber as my party because I wouldn't stand Rebecca Black's freaking song Friday Friday stupid song at my party I just rather have Justin Bieber singing his ooh baby baby shit you know so I rather go for Justin Bieber at the party Rebecca Black as a clock alarm I think I'll just wake up as fast as possible to turn that shit off so the video actually I think it came to an end guys I didn't time myself sorry and also if you guys notice it this is black ops I don't know if you guys want to see it black ops or you guys want to see modern warfare 3 or battlefield 3 so leave a comment below guys telling me what you guys think about the series leave more questions for the next episode thanks for watching guys leave some rating leave some leave some love go check out those three these three people that i've mentioned in my video uh I, I really think they deserve the love and everything you know so see you guys thanks for watching bye